Hey, what is going on guys? It's been a while since we've taken a look at a Gundam Converge set. You guys know I love the Gundam Converge figures and this one is the 10th Anniversary Selection 01 that we've got sit this set here. This set includes the Barbatos Lupus Rex, the Gyan, the Zuda Unit 1, the Zuda Unit 2, the Slash Zuda Spare, the Gundam Mark II Titans Colors, the Revive version, and the Sazabi Revive version in here. So this is of course a standard box of 10, so that means we're gonna have doubles of a couple of them in there. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna have one of each different type of the Zuda, and then two of the Mark II, and then two of, um, I don't know, Gyan, Sazabi, we'll see. Ooh, I think this is the first time I've ever noticed that it's had a bubble wrap inside, and that something's wrapped in here, what is this? Which is an advertisement here for the Mobility Joint Gundam, I guess just a new product line here, and little, uh, Tag. Because these boxes are kind of meant for storefronts display, I think this is also just kind of a display thing that's just meant to be hung. Yeah, so like there's just a couple of these cards with little hooks. This is meant to just be hung up in a store and people can like take these for information about the new product line. Anyway, it's kind of interesting that that was included in the box, but let's take a look here. We've got two Sazbees, two Mark IIs, one of each of the different kind of Zudas. One is uh, 268 and 269, two Gyans and two Barbatos. So basically two of everything, which is awesome. So we'll start off by going through these in order. This is technically number 121 in the line, Sazabi revived version here, but it does have the 10th anniversary Selection 01 branding added onto it there. So Sazabi's looking very cool. It's got the beam rifle here on the back. It looks like it does also have the beam shotgun and the beam axe included. So it's kind of interesting that this came out as just a normal release kind of version of the Converge line and not as a premium Bandai figure or as an EX figure because as we know, the Sazabi's a pretty big design and the fact that this comes with multiple weapons is not usual for a Converge release. So that's pretty awesome. Opening up inside here, of course, we got the always delicious chewing gum. And here is our weapons, there's the rifle, the shotgun, the beam, saber, the shield, the antennas for the head, and our base and main figure for the body. So taking a look at the main figure, it's definitely a deeper red than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit more bright, but you got the yellow accents painted on there, some metallic green for the mono eye and the head camera up here. The little logo printed on the front of there is in a kind of printed gold though, so it's different from the yellow pre-printed accents. Then you got your black and kind of a gunmetal kind of color there for some of the joints. You can see there's a lot of detail that's obviously not painted in. You could go in and just hand paint in a lot of these little details, the panel lining, you could go in and add more uh, different water slide decals and stuff around on this, I think would definitely make it look very cool. So. This is one that where I'm really happy we get two in a set because normally with these kits they come with like their one main accessory and that's kind of it. But the fact that we have so many accessories with this one, it's really nice to have two. So there's the shield. Again, a lot of nice detail on the back. Gold logo on the front. It actually plugs onto the side of the arm, onto that hole right there. And then on the other hand, here's a look at the beam saber gray and then that clear yellow looks really nice so that's one option that'll just fit down into the hand like that and the beam shotgun is just going to look like that also will just fit into the hand the figure of course will just plug onto your base like so is how it's going to look but if you did want to use the other rifle that we have it actually comes with a different hand which is kind of molded together here with the rifle so rather than holding it kind of by the handle, you're just holding it by the top, which you know is kind of very iconic imagery of the Sazabi holding the rifle like that. So that's a really cool option for this set. And again, it's really nice to have two of these in this set because then you can display them with different accessories. So that's awesome. Next step going in numerical order is the Gundam Mark II Titans color revive version. So I have, I know I do have a Gundam Mark II Titans uh, figure, at least one of them. Uh, the thing about these is that they're numbered randomly, either 01, 02, or 03. You don't know which number it's going to be until you open the box. So it's very likely that among the two that we have here that they actually have different numbers on the shoulder. But I'm just only going to open the one for now and we'll see which number is on it. Once we get this opened up here, there's our gum. And drum roll, please. We're going to have a number 
three in this case, which is very cool. I actually am very happy with that. But actually it looks like I was wrong because they actually give you the parts to either make it as 0, 1, 0, 2, or 0, 3. So I'm guessing that this is something that's because it's the 10th anniversary set, you get all of these option parts where I'm pretty sure previous versions of this did not include that. You just randomly got one number. So that's very cool. You can make it whichever one you want. Unfortunately, the antenna on my Vulcan pod's a little warped, so I'll have to try to straighten that out. But otherwise, it is looking very nice. The clear green for the eyes, a lot of the times on the Converge kits, the Converge figures, the clear green for the eyes, it ends up just looking dark because there's usually not like silver painted up inside there to catch the light. So they just don't really catch the light very well. In this case, it looks like there's some silver or titanium kind of finish pre-painted up underneath the silver so that it actually catches the light really nicely and those eyes look really great. You got some kind of bright gunmetal color there for the hands and the rifle and the pre-painting around on the kit is looking really nice. Again, it could definitely benefit from throwing a few more little decals on there. It would look really nice painting in some of these little details. But again, you got a really nice arrangement of just details around this. The mold looking very good. If you're a fan of the Gundam Mark II, it looks really nice. Up next would be number 266, the Gundam Barbatos Lupus Rex here. This one's going to be really cool because a lot of times the Gundam in different mobile suit designs where like the full design of the mobile suit is really weird in its proportions. Usually when you shrink it down to like SD or like somewhat SD proportions like we have here with this line, they end up looking really cool in just like even more extreme proportions. So I think that's probably gonna be the case with this one, but let's go ahead and see how it looks. Starting off with, of course, our gum and then our one bag of parts here. There's that giant mace. It's got the main body, a few other little bits separated out there, the V-fin and the base. So here it is, and I'll first show it to you without the mace because I just wanted to highlight the fact that it does come with just regular hands. If you didn't want to have the mace in hand, because if you have the giant mace in hand, you actually just swap out the entire hand. I feel like I just said hand 50 times right there, but anyway, you can have it either with or without. Let's first just take a look at it with. You got the massive tail sticking out the back. And I think the proportions in this scale look really cool, as I was met just mentioning about, but the pose is kind of strange. I think they should have had the arms like a little bit more angled out or something like that. Maybe could have helped to emphasize it on just the, the pose looks kind of strange. The molding on this one though is very sharp. You got, once again, a lot of really cool details on there, but definitely going in, bringing out some of those details with some little detail painting, things like that, doing some panel lining on these areas where it's just kind of an off-white color. You could help bring out some of those little details, but it does look very cool. And here it is with the giant mace in hand. I think that definitely does help add to the look. You can kind of change the angle. These are not really meant to be posable, but you could kind of have it more posed holding it straight up like that or something. If you wanted to, there's not gonna be any weight issues with that, even though it is quite large. But I'm thinking I'm just gonna have it just kind of resting down. But yeah, the angle of the arms is just kind of awkward looking, I gotta say. Up next then, number 267 is the Gyan. And I have to say, of the recent releases of like One Year War era Xeon mobile suits, I've really liked the recent Converge series of them. The Zaku, the Dom, the Gog, etc. They've all been actually really quite nice. They make for really nice little Converge figures. Let's go ahead and see if the Gyan is going to continue that trend, but I imagine it will, and it'll have its sword and iconic shield weaponry included in here, of course. Here it is, and with that very long, extended, pointy top on the head and a very goofy looking head indeed, I think it's another great looking figure. And like I said, the One Year Wars Xeon Mobile Suits thing are just like so goofy looking then, like transforming them into like the scale and proportions of a converged figure. It just translates really well and they end up looking really nice. A little bit of a scratch there on the front skirt there it looks like but really nice details but overall just some really great looking shapes here on this some really nice detail up inside the eye there like around the track for the mono eye looks really cool the clear yellow part for the beam saber blade looks really nice even painted gray on like the back side of the shield there so a lot of really nice attention paid to the shield design but I gotta say, it's looking really nice. And then our last two here are gonna be the number 268 and 269, the Zuda Unit 1, which would be the commander type, which features that gigantic long rifle, and the Zuda Unit 2, Unit 3, or Zuda Spare, basically alternate kind of non-commander type version of the Zuda, which comes with some different weaponry, the Zaku machine gun, and the Storm Fox, which I guess both versions have that, so basically just the main weapon's gonna be different between these, but here you can see that's displayed there on the back and we'll see what's included with these. Just going to be, you know, aside from the difference in the head, this one having the commander antenna, it'll just have the parts for making the long rifle, whereas the other version here is just going to have the parts for the standard Zaku machine gun, whereas the other accessories, the Heat Hawk and the Sturmfoss 
should be the same in either version. All right, so here are the two versions side by side. As you can see, both uh, have the same weaponry here on this side. The Heat Hawk can be stuck onto the side of the leg there. The Sturm Foss can be removed from the back of the shield there, but there's not really any reason to remove them. They're just basically stuck on there. The head's gonna be different, of course. And then the main weapon being very different. Going around to the back side real quick, just so you can see everything is going to be the same on the back side. Very nice detail of these little thruster bells there on the back of the leg. If you guys know me and if you've seen my review of the HGC Zuda kit, uh, one thing that I really don't like about the Zuda is the design of the legs. But that said, now shrunken down into these proportions, I think the legs look great uh, on this version of the Zuda. So. I do really love how this is looking. All the design, all the details on there look fantastic. With this version of it, you do have an option part here for the helmet to make it a little bit different there. You just remove that top part. And while we're here, I'll mention that you can rotate this part inside here to turn the monoway. You can turn the entire head a little bit like that, but you can just turn the monoway. Put our alternate piece on there for the head, which does also look really cool. It's basically got the same cutout at the top as like with the commander type, it just doesn't have the antenna. Now, the one thing I'm wondering about the commander type here or the type or the Z unit zero one is just holding the rifle because it goes out so long, if you can hold it in a different way and like a vertical way, let's see if this will work in some way. Cause you do have the secondary handle here on the side. Or I think maybe you could just uh, hold it by this part here on the top of the gun. And let's see if there's space for this. Yeah, that'll kind of work. Just have it uh, off to the side there like that. I actually do prefer the look of it like that, like it's just carrying the gun, kind of similar to like what we saw with the Sazabi kit. Something on there. It's not like a really tight fit there, but it's enough so that I do just kind of look prefer the look of that. I think that looks really cool. There you have it, guys, for the Converge 10th Anniversary Selection 01 set. Another set all done and dusted. What do you guys think of this set? Which figure is your favorite from this set? If you could choose, I don't know. I gotta say the Zuda just because you know either version is just nice to have the different options there, and I think the Zuda looks really fantastic here as a Converge figure. But let me know your guys' thoughts. Which one's your favorite? I do have a couple other Converge sets here on hand that are in the queue to be reviewed for you guys soon so if you guys like to see these converge reviews definitely let me know i'll definitely get those out for you guys as soon as possible but those will be coming up in the near future thank you guys so much for checking out the video here today if you guys want to check out some converge figures we do occasionally get some in a us gundam store but if not i mean there's plenty of other cool stuff gundam related things of course there that you guys can find at us gundam store so the link will be down in the video description below check out everything that we've got in stock there and of course use that coupon code zakorelius10 to save 10 percent off everything on the site as well check that out thank you guys so much for watching the video liking commenting subscribing all that would be greatly appreciated as well if you guys don't mind until next time hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you guys later bye bye